Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I recently reviewed the Astro City Mini on the channel and if you haven't seen that review I'll leave a link here or in the description below where you can check it out. Anyway, while it's a nice little games machine it comes with two big restrictions. One of which that, is, that it only includes 37 games and the other restriction is that you can't use unofficial USB controllers. To overcome um, both these uh, issues I'll install Batacera. If you don't know what Batacera is, it's a free open source operating system for retro gaming consoles that allows you to play classic games on modern hardware. Ok, let's get this process started. Um, a couple of uh, warnings first, this is not meant for the Astro City Mini, the Mini V should I say. The Mini V is the uh, vertical shooter version and also it's not meant for the Egret Mini. The process is slightly different for those, you need different files. Um, you're going to need the following hardware. A USB memory stick, here yeah, I've just got a normal USB A, 128 gig. And you're going to need a USB A to micro USB cable. Well, that can pass data, that's got all the pins connected to it. I believe the one that, that comes with the device only has two pins wired to it, so it's not suitable. And you're also going to need a computer. Um, okay, um, let's uh, continue this uh, next procedure on the computer. Okay, um, to get started, you're going to have to go to this website here. I'll leave a link in the description below. And what you want to do is get the uh, file for the uh, Battle Zero. And it's not this one. Scroll all the way. Here, where it says Batacera version 36 for Astro City Mini Alpha 0 0.2. Get this one here. It's got a date of 0.22.12.06 and save it. Then what you want to do is scroll up onto this section here. Pata Zero version 36 for Astro City Mini Alpha 0 0.1. And then where it says Assets here, click the little arrow. And you want this file that says ACM hyphen install. Get that file as well. Once you've done that, we're going to extract them. So, I'll cut to once I've downloaded the file. The next uh, thing we need is um, some software to flash the uh, USB drive and for that I'm going to use Rufus. Um, you can use any other software if you want. Um, this is the uh, link to the website. And scroll down and I'll get Rufus, this portable version here. Once I've done that, I'll start it. Right, here's Rufus running. I've downloaded it and um, I've inserted my uh, 128 gigabyte uh, USB drive and it's shown up here. Next is to um, select the image which we downloaded. So click the select button here. There it is, it's just uh, over one gigabyte in size and it's the Batacera one, we can. We need to flash, just select that. Don't, it, you don't need to extract it, so open it up. And then the next step is click start. Obviously you'll get this warning sign saying it's going to erase everything, so make sure you've got the correct drive.
It's uh, writing at a fast speed, but I'll cut to the end anyway. Here we are back again. It took just over three minutes. Right, on to the next step. And here are the contents of the uh, flashed um, USB drive. Battle Sarah, we've got a couple of directories and the config file. Right, the next step is to um, extract the uh, install files, which they, this contains the actual custom firmware to hack the device. So extract it, the zip file. Here. And we will be running that file in a moment. The next step, we need to eject the USB drive from the computer and plug it into the Player 2 side of the Astro City Mini. So I'll do that now. Eject. Right, here I am. Here's the uh, USB stick um, with the uh, Battle Sarah image which I wrote with uh, Rufus on it. Now, what uh, we have to do is plug it into the uh, two-piece side here. Can you see? I don't know if that's showing up. So, let's plug it in. And we need a micro USB to USB-A cable here. Plug one end into the back of the Astro City Mini and turn on the Astro Mini City here but don't plug this in just yet and I'll see you on the uh, PC for the next step plug this end obviously into um, a silver USB port Plug it directly into the computer, don't use a USB hub. Right, here we are back on the PC and um, to continue, um, it depends on which system you're going to use. Uh, either you're going to use Linux or you're going to use Windows um, or Mac. Uh, the instructions are obviously on the website. Since I'll be doing this on uh, Windows, we're going to need some um, extra drivers and those drivers can be obtained from here. Click on the Zadig drivers here and then download the link here. And install them. Right, to um, start the actual patched firmware, go back into the ACM install directory which is here and on Windows we're going to need to uh, run the ACM hyphen backup and install file here it's got a .bat extension if you don't have the extensions click on view and then click on file name extensions and hidden items as well click on make sure they ticked on okay now just run it It says uh, press a key when ready and then connect the ACM to the USB. Okay, now plug in the uh, Astro City Mini USB into your computer.
Right, I've plugged it in and I'm going to press a key to continue. Hey, it's me, the voiceover from the future. Um, I tried this several times and it failed. So um, just uh, ignore getting the Zadig drivers and uh, let's continue with the tutorial. Right, I couldn't get the uh, Zadig drivers to work so I'm going to use the uh, classic drivers and install those instead. Right, the uh, classic drivers appear to have been installed correctly. Now let's proceed to the next stage. Now to run the Astro City Mini backup and install script. It appears to be working now with the classic drivers. Okay, now it's uploading the image. There you go, now it's basically uh, detected the USB key, let's go in the back up.
Okay, there we are. That's a quite a long time to load up. Right. It appears to have been loaded. Let me configure the setup. Right, here I have Battlesera installed. Um, a couple of things you need to um, do. Um, basically, go to the system menu, which is this button here, the select menu, and then go to system settings, and then go all the way down to screen rotation and change it to 90 degrees, otherwise, the screen will be off. Well, put your own ROMs into the uh, folders and um, play away. So um, I'll, I'll insert a few montage of some games in here now. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. It was um, a bit more tricky to uh, hack this device than I thought due to the it wasn't detected properly on the PC. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, please click like and um, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe if it helps you out. Thanks a lot.